pull-ups and chin-ups are some of the best and most functional exercises for your back and arms, and you can easily pack on muscle with them. But pull-ups and chin-ups do have some big main differences between each other. And these main differences is the grip, and this changes how you target your muscles as well. Now both movement patterns are really the same. Pull-ups and chin-ups are for mostly back and biceps, but what you emphasize with each is the main difference. Now the main difference between these two movements is with pull-ups, your hands are pronated, meaning the back of your hand is forward towards you, and with chin-ups, your hands are supinated with your palm towards you. With chin-ups, you target more biceps, and pull-ups, you target more of your back, although do both target the bicep and the back. Think about it though, when you do a bicep curl, you do a supinated grip with your palm facing towards you so you hit the biceps. So it makes sense that when you do chin-ups in this position, you hit more of the bicep. We don't really need any fancy studies to just identify this. Think of the movement patterns you already do. Now, I'm not saying chin-ups are the only bicep exercise you need, the only bicep movement you need. But if you want to hit them a little more with an emphasis, if you're going to do a pulling movement, then chin-ups are your friend. Either way, training the pull-up and or the chin-up is very simple. If you can't do many reps, you can start out with an assistance machine at your gym or use some bands till you can build up some strength. Then when you can do a handful, start slowly increasing reps week over week. If you're confused about any progression scheme, check out my Big Boy Basics workout guide right here. It's going to be everything you need to get started weightlifting. And the workout file is free on my website, atalafit.com. Now when you can do around 15 reps, in my opinion, either choose a harder variation, like trying to get your chest to the bar, Focus on dead hangs where you lose all momentum at the bottom or start to add weight. Any of these choices are fine for a simple progression and it's going to make the pull-up and or chin-up a lot harder so you can keep doing the movement. Now you don't only have to do pull-ups on a straight bar. You can use anything really, a tree branch, the monkey bars at the gym, whatever, but I really enjoy gymnastic rings since you can get some rotation with them. You can start in a pronated position, then switch to the supinated as you get to the top. You could do neutral grips too, or really anything in between with the gymnastic greens, which is why they're a great workout tool. Both pull-ups and chin-ups have a great place in your exercise routine, and I would say it is wise to rotate them from your program from time to time. Maybe one week have chin-ups, maybe one week have pull-ups, or you can have blocks with pull-ups and chin-ups. If you need help getting started working out, check out the Big Boy Basics Guide right here and get the free program at atalafit.com. Peace.